Hey everybody, Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, Heber City, Utah. Today, I want to prove to you that you can do mobile detailing out of a sedan. Forgive the laundry going on in the background, you guys, and forgive the dirty car. Yes, folks, I have my shop, I've got my paint correction, cart and my giant extractor and yeah that's when I do my best work but I'm gonna show you how I go to an old client I still do mobile for him O and R in a bucket claim it from the last coat big red sponge wheel and body brush power clean spotter and cap you clean DS2 whatever this is it's my uh, end cap carpet solution Hydro Silex Recharge, a little extra power clean, a little optimum leather protectant, some cool stuff from Extreme Solutions here, InstaShine coating. I like it almost, or if not better than Stone or Trim Shine. This I'm using as my paint prep, kind of smelly, but works amazingly well. Uh, here's my Brush Pro. <clears throat> Back here I've just got a bunch of Last Step products if I get, there's some iron remover, um, there's a wheel cleaner back there. There's a total recon. Oh, this product is awesome, you guys. Use this on engine bays. It foams up. It's so cool. Check this out. So it foams up like that, right? And then you can use it on an engine bay. You wouldn't have a wet brush. But if your brush wasn't wet, um, it just clings and it leaves behind a nice satin finish. Anyway, sorry for the messy... Uh, this was not meant to happen, but it leaves a nice satin finish behind, um, very glossy. It's a quick way to do engine base. Okay, um, I've got an extension cord back here. I've got my wheel bucket with uh, Speedmaster brush, you know, a couple other brushes in there, Tough Shine. Um, I've got this air mover, and then, yeah, the Subaru Legacy is nasty, you guys. I don't care. Nice microfiber towels, including window and, like, buffing and polishing towels. Cruddy interior wheel, whatever, all-purpose towels. Uh, I've got my sprayer there, which is uh, Optimum No Rinse. And I've got uh, my IK Foamer, which has power clean in there. Um, I'm going to leave the steamer behind today. My steamer's been on the fritz for a while. Look how dirty and messy my life is, guys. There's nothing here that I'm proud of. Um, but I've got an extension cord, and I've got extra headlamps here. you got to have these dental tools. Obviously, I could be way more organized than this. But uh, these get into the perforated leather seats amazingly. So I just keep them in a door handle just because for whatever reason that seems to work for me. Um, and then of course, you're going to want some gloves. I've got my drill brush. Um, I've got my awesome rigid vacuum which also doubles as a leaf blower. I've got one more air mover. And one thing I forgot to mention that I really like is this handy brush. Because this will get into nooks and crannies if I don't have an air compressor. Which I'm not bringing to today's job. What do you guys think, huh? How minimalist is that? Mobile detailing out of a sedan? Yes, it can be done. By the way, optional is the use of this mini extractor. Because this is a maintenance client, I know I'm not going to need an extractor, even though I haven't seen it in a few months. If it needs extraction, I'll just get it next time. That's kind of my philosophy. But you could bring more air movers with you if you want. There's still room in that sedan, you know, to bring polishers and all that as well. Um, so it's really, you know, a pretty nice setup. Uh, with room to bring items like this.